Hey everybody, today we're looking at Wiseco Forged Pistons from Perona Raceworks. Um, there's a couple of reasons to, that I've looked at Wiseco for Project Woodstock, and uh, hopefully the reasons for those will be very clear to people as I go through them. So when you get your um, pistons, they come in a box that looks like this, and at the moment just ignore that box. And down here we've got a factory piston. So when you open it up, um, you'll have like a little Wiseco sticker sticking up at the top, and then you'll find these four boxes. And you go, what? what? And underneath these boxes, you find this, which is your forged piston. Just going to move this box out of the way for now. And before we get too far into the piston, we'll look at these little boxes in this bag. This is one of your rings. So these pistons come with rings, you don't have to buy any. Um, and then it will give you your diameter your effective diameter for this, as well as instructions for um, properly um, setting your ring gap. And this box you get a little pink uh, instruction manual or salmon colored I guess. Uh, and it tells you that this is for cast iron, nickel ceramic, or nicosil, electrofusion, and boron composite cylinders. Do not use in chrome plated cylinders. The GC has uh, cast iron cylinders, so we're good. And inside here, you find two more rings, your oil spring, and your oil spring retainers. So pretty much everything you need. So now I'm kind of questioning, what is this for? Oil rail support. Hmm. I'm going to have to call Wiseco because all your rings are in this little box. So, either way, we've got that, and we've got this. Um, so, all your rings are included in this kit. Now, inside your little bubble wrap, you will find your forged piston. Okay, You have a part number here, uh, an indent here to indicate which direction faces which. And in here you have some foam, which has your wrist pin, and a little bag with your two wrist pin retainers. And then you've got a naked piston. Okay, at the bottom of your um, wrist pin gallery there is nothing but you'll have this permanent marker uh, written here with in this case 355 which is the weight of this piston when it left their factory. Now this is a forged piston and this is your factory piston which in this case is still dirty after I cleaned it up a bit. Now they look fairly similar. They both have grooves cut in them for your valves. They both have a both have a flat surface uh, except this has a little bit of a of a hat. This one has a little bit of a hat whereas this one doesn't. Uh, now Hyundai has an arrow and two B so to back um, pointed and that's to indicate which is your intake and which is your 
um, exhaust and which orientation the piston is supposed to be, whereas they just use a dot, like I said. Your exhaust valves are the, are the smaller ones, whereas your intake valves are the larger ones. So actually, why that says 2B, I don't know, because that's the way it would sit in the engine. So maybe B stands for something else, I don't know. Um, now these are stock diameter, these are 86 millimeter diameter pistons, or uh, bore. And something that I was kind of surprised to see was Hyundai actually uses a coating on their pistons, and so does Wiseco. Now these coatings are only here for wear in, okay, for initial run. They're not here for um, the long, the life of it. 60,000 kilometers in ingestion of a lot of oil, and this coating isn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. It's a little more worn out on the one side. Now, we're going to get into the meat and potatoes of the difference between the pistons. Now, Hyundai uses um, kind of a slope, a tapered um, wrist pin area, whereas Wise Co. opted for a straight cut. They just go straight down. And both of them use the exact same wrist pin. These are uh, I measured up a factory one, and they're identical. Uh, so the wrist pin itself isn't an issue, but how the wrist pin is supported and how much material is there to protect the load um, is. Now, as you can see from the WISE code, this is much thicker up here. Um, it's a lot more close together for your webbing, um, so there's a little bit less lateral play. You have larger oil flutes from your uh, oil ring, well, this measurement here is uh, 1.8 or 20.8, 19.6. So there's over a mil thicker here, but this, as you can see, is a lot more durable or confidence-inspiring than this is, just because there's more, more material here to work with. They don't shave this away like Hyundai did. They just leave it there. Uh, but they do do steps to lighten it, which they take some of that excess stuff out. And the weight... Um, these Wiseco ones are not a lightweight piston, they're actually heavier than the stock ones and like the con rods it's because the material is denser and in the case of the Wiseco they actually left, they, they kept a lot more of the bulkiness to the key areas of the, of the piston. So this is my number three uh, piston and it weighs 346 grams and this Wise Cove is 355. Now, like the con rods, uh, which you guys would have seen in the previous video, the pistons have a uh, two gram variance between them, whereas the Wise Co. ones have half a gram between them. Um, so that's something uh, in regards to the balance of the engine that comes into play is Hyundai really didn't do a very good job of balancing it. So there's one point, uh, about 1.2 millimeter thicker um, area for your wrist pin. Not to mention the uh, full thickness of here versus the partial thickness of here. So a uh, couple of different changes in that in that respect. Now the major thing that attracted me to the Wiseco pistons actually had nothing to do with the wrist pin. It actually had everything to do with your rings. Hyundai, by fa factory default, uses a very thick ringland. So, I mean, this is a ringland, by the way, this uh, bump here. This groove is where you, is your ring groove, then you've got a ringland, ring groove, ringland, and then oil groove. Okay. Hyundai uses a very thick ringland. So let's look at how big exactly it is. Four point six two Wiseco four point 
4.62. So they are identical for your primary ring line. That's a good thing. Wiseco does something else though. Then this hasn't been shown in any of the pictures because this is their new piston design. Is there is actually a groove in the ring land? And you can kind of sort of see it. It looks like another ring groove. I don't know how well that's going to show up. Either way, what that ring, what that little groove does, is it reduces how much surface is touching your sidewall if it's touching, because technically it's not supposed to touch. Um, but I could be completely talking out my ass. In, in, in previous engines, that's what it was for. Um, why Wiseco specifically did it, I guess I can't really comment, since I don't know 100% for sure. Uh, but either way, they've, redu they've re made a little notch in there. Okay. The, 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 the next thing is, is they have a thinner secondary groove not by much and we can do the measurements because I know somebody's probably going to be anal and asking for it Hyundai is 2.91 Wiseco is 2.12 so a little bit thinner for the second ringland um, but it's not it's not the major one. The major one is as thick as it can be, which is a good thing. Um, now, Hyundai has a fairly tall cap. That's the top portion here between the first ring and the top of the piston. Wiseco has a significantly taller cap. Okay, uh, there. Now, when it sits in the piston, in, in the uh, in the chain, uh, the cylinder, they sit the same height, but where the rings line up, you end up with a taller cap on the Wiseco. Um, there isn't super amount of, of uh, I guess, uh, reason for that, but you end up with a more durable cap. Okay, so far in my experience. The Hyundai piston is actually a pretty damn good piston. It does have thinner rings. The Wiseco does use a thicker ring. Wiseco does use a thicker ring. Um, they almost dropped that. Made me nervous. Uh, they use a thicker ring for your primary ring. They use a thicker, uh, a thicker secondary ring and they use a significantly thicker um, oil ring so there is some method to their madness strong uh, thicker rings usually means a stronger ring and I'm not a hundred percent certain on the composition of the Hyundai ring but um, Wiseco uses a Cromoly ring and what that means is you need to make sure that if you go with a Wiseco piston that you have the correct um, grit of your crosshatch for this ring. Okay, so these rings in particular are 320 grit. That's the recommended crosshatch grit. Um, just a FYI. Now for this box, if you're building your own engine, I highly recommend you buy pick one of these up. If you are having somebody else build your engine, don't worry about it. This is a Wiseco ring compressor. Um, what, you, what you'll notice is this is thin up here, but it's thick down here. And uh, what that allows is as you drop your piston, You put your piston through through here like this, and it squishes the rings as it goes down, and that allows you to transfer compressed rings into the block um, 
rather than trying to compress your rings as you push it in, which is not a good idea. So go with, uh, if you're building your own block, pick one of these up, Perona Raceworks has them. Um, and this one is specifically designed for 86 millimeter. Uh, pistons, the part number will be right there. Uh, and they're a really, really useful tool to have if you're building your own engine. And they're not expensive at all, at all. So uh, if you need to pick one up, if you need to, if you're doing your own engine, then uh, by all means pick one up and use it. And we'll be covering how to use it specifically when we start putting the engine back together. So, thanks a lot for paying attention and listening to my rant and uh, taking a look at the Wiseco Pistons. And we've got a few more videos coming up about parts that you can pick up from Piranha Raceworks.